Why is the moon moving away from Earth? Have you ever looked up at the moon and wondered if it would ever depart from Earth? Well, you are not alone. And the answer may surprise you. The moon is moving away from us. Scientists have spent decades researching this phenomena and the reasons are fascinating. Let's get started with the question on everyone's mind. Hello and welcome to Space Time. Subscribe to our channel and follow us. Before we go into the science, let's take a quick look at the moon's history. One of the most widely accepted ideas is that the moon formed roughly 4.5 billion years ago, just after the solar system formed. The current main theory holds that the moon formed from debris left over when a Mars-sized asteroid impacted with Earth, sending material into space and eventually coalescing to form the moon. This collision would have had a significant influence on Earth, likely disrupting the planet's climate and geology. The moon's gravitational pull influences Earth's tides and may have had an important role in the evolution of life on Earth. The moon has evolved and changed over time, shaped by asteroid and comet impacts as well as volcanic activity. The moon's surface is rich in craters, mountains, and wide plains, which provide evidence of its past and evolution. Since then, the moon has orbited the Earth, producing a gravitational force that causes the tides to rise and fall. But over time, astronomers have noted that the moon's orbit is gradually expanding. This means that the moon is receding from Earth at a pace of approximately 3.8 centimeters each year. Reasons why the Moon moves away from Earth So why is this happening? The answer is based on two major factors, the Moon's and Earth's rotation, as well as their gravitational interaction. This phenomena known as lunar recession, which is generated by the rotation of the Moon and Earth. To understand how this occurs, we must first understand the fundamental laws of gravity and orbital mechanics. As the Moon orbits Earth, it exerts gravitational force on our globe. However, Earth exerts a gravitational pull on the Moon. The tug of battle between the two celestial bodies leads the Moon's orbit to become elliptical. The Moon's orbit gets more elliptical, and its distance from Earth rises. This is due to the fact that the gravitational force between the Moon and Earth weakens as distance increases. The gravitational pull between two objects is determined by their masses and distance apart. The gravitational pull between two things becomes stronger as their masses increase. The gravitational pull increases as they get closer together. The Moon's orbit around the Earth is elliptical rather than round. This implies that the Moon is sometimes closer to the Earth and sometimes farther away. When the Moon is closer to the Earth, the gravitational attraction between them increases, causing the Moon to accelerate slightly. This acceleration causes the Moon to travel slightly ahead of its expected point in its orbit. The Earth's equatorial bulge causes a gravitational drag on the Moon as it advances ahead of its anticipated position. This bulge is created by the Earth's rotation which causes the equator to bulge slightly. This gravitational drag causes the Moon to slow down and migrate somewhat away from the Earth. The Moon repeatedly moves slightly ahead of its expected position before being slowed down by the Earth's gravitational attraction. This causes the Moon's orbit to expand over time, causing it to travel further away from Earth. It is vital to notice that the rate of lunar recession does not remain constant. It is determined by several factors including the Moon's orbital position and the Earth's equatorial bulge. However, over millions of years, the effect is enormous, with the Moon moving around 384,400 kilometers away from the Earth since its formation. The gravitational attraction of the Moon causes Earth's tides to rise and fall. However, the opposite is also true. The tides on Earth exert a gravitational force on the Moon. This force slows the Moon's orbit, causing it to move away from Earth. To summarize, the Moon is receding from Earth as a result of gravitational interaction and tidal forces. But don't worry, this process is extremely sluggish and will have no immediate influence on us. In fact, it will take billions of years for the Moon to migrate far enough away from Earth to have any substantial impact on our planet. 
However, there are some fascinating aspects to explore. For example, as the Moon moves away from Earth, its gravitational pull on Earth decreases. This could have an impact on our climate and perhaps the stability of the Earth's axis of rotation. So, while the Moon's migration away from Earth may appear inconsequential at the moment, it is important to research and comprehend for our planet's future. Let's examine what occurs if the Moon leaves Earth's orbit. If the Moon escapes Earth, it is vital to stress that this situation is extremely unlikely to happen anytime soon. The Moon is now traveling away from the Earth at a rate of around 3.8 centimeters per year, but it will take billions of years to escape the Earth's gravity completely. Nonetheless, let us analyze the possible outcomes of the Moon's departure. First, there would be variations in tides. One of the most visible repercussions of the Moon's removal would be tide shifts. The tides are caused by the Earth's rotation and the Moon's gravitational pull on the oceans. Without the Moon, tides would be less and less frequent. This might have a substantial influence on marine ecosystems, as many species rely on the tides to survive. Changes in tides produced by the Moon's departure would have a substantial impact on coastal regions and human activities in addition to marine ecosystems. For example, the lack of high and low tides will change how coastal landscapes are sculpted and degraded. Tidal energy which is being investigated as a potential source of renewable energy would also be affected. Smaller and less frequent tides would result in less energy available for harnessing. Furthermore, the removal of the Moon's gravitational pull would lead ocean currents to shift, thereby affecting global weather patterns. Ocean currents regulate the distribution of heat over the Earth and play an important function in the climate system. Any disturbance to these currents could cause large changes in temperature and precipitation patterns, resulting in droughts, floods and other extreme weather events. Furthermore, the absence of tides would have an impact on ship navigation and the fishing industry. The tides now manage the movement of water in ports and harbors, and their elimination would make these locations more vulnerable to floods and other hazards. Second, there would be changes in climate. The Moon's gravity also plays an important part in regulating the Earth's axial tilt, which influences the temperature. The Earth's axial tilt is responsible for seasonal changes and serves to manage sunlight distribution over the world. Without the Moon's stabilizing influence, the Earth's axial tilt may become more unstable, resulting in dramatic climate changes and catastrophic extinctions. There would also be changes in the Earth's rotation rate, as the Moon's gravitational influence causes the Earth's rotation to slow down. Without the Moon, the Earth's rotation rate may accelerate, resulting in shorter days and longer nights. This might have a substantial influence on agriculture, as plant development is determined by the amount of sunlight received. We would be at a higher danger of asteroid collisions. The Moon protects the Earth against asteroid impacts by drawing and diverting them away from it. Without the Moon's gravitational pull, the Earth would be more vulnerable to asteroid collisions, which might have disastrous repercussions. The collision of a big asteroid might inflict extensive devastation and even a mass extinction. Scientists are analyzing more than only the Moon's journey away from Earth. There's also the question of how the Moon's distance affects our interactions with the other celestial bodies in our solar system. For example, the Moon helps to stabilize Earth's orbit around the Sun. As it travels away, this stabilization may be jeopardized, causing changes in our planet's climate and weather. There's also the matter of how the Moon's movement influences our ability to explore space. The Moon has long been seen as a potential base for future space research, but as it gets farther away from Earth, it becomes more difficult to approach. As you can see, the Moon's migration away from Earth has far-reaching consequences that scientists are researching and investigating.